It's another day online. An OnlyFans girl shaves her legs on camera. A furry finishes his latest Harry Potter fanfiction. Someone, somewhere, is making an apology video. Brace yourself. Here comes Sriracha Cast. Hello, gamers. Oh, I hate saying gamers, but I, I was actually thinking, what if we changed it to Goombas? Goombas instead of gamers. Because I actually say Goomba pretty frequently. I just use it. It's kind of a derogatory <laughs> kind of name, but I I don't know. It just sounds good. I've also been told that it's a it's a racial slur for Italian people too, Goomba. But I've I've looked it up. I've Googled it because I do not want to say it on camera if it actually like means something bad, and I can't find anything saying that it's actually like a slur. I only heard it from one person. So, if Goomba is a racial slur, please for the love of God tell me. I do not want to be the guy who makes a racial slur the name for his audience. Warning. Warning, incoming shameless plug. So my fellow Goombas, my fellow Goomba gamers, I would just like to say once again, if you have any love problems that you need solving, any love issues, love conundrums, love dilemmas, and you want me to read your dirty laundry out over the internet, please send them my way. I would love to hear your love problems and I would love to try and solve them. I want to be a love guru. I think I said that last episode, but I said it like 20 minutes in, so nobody heard it. Send your love problems to sriracha 4 you at gmail.com. That's S-E-R-R-A-C-H-A for you at gmail. You know, just tell me what's going on. You know, are you trying to date a girl over the internet and it's, you know, she's talking to other guys on a different Roblox server? Are you sexually harassing the barista at your local Starbucks? Let me know. Let me know and I'll, I'll try and help you out, man. Or woman, whoever you are, I don't really, I don't judge. If you wanna sexually harass a barista, man, I mean, I might say something then, but anyone can do it, technically. But uh, yeah, send me, send me your love problems, please. I wanna read them. Send me your dirty laundry. All right, that's it. This is the Sriracha Cast episode 2. What do you think of the name Sriracha Cast? I kind of like it. I think it's better than just naming it the Sriracha Podcast. It's a bit more it's a bit more hip, a bit more neat because I feel like every podcast is just the blank podcast and it's supposed to be like all official sounding and, you know, pretty cool, very like slick. And it's like, yeah, I mean, that's that's just what everybody else does though. Like I don't know. I don't want to copy everybody else. I want to copy a few people that I like. <laughs> so, uh, welcome back. It's great to have you, my fellow Goombas. We're all Goombas here. Goombai. That's what I say whenever I'm leaving a Goomba. Goombai. Goombasshole. Stuff like that. I say it all the time with my buddy from my old job. I don't know how we came up with it. I think someone from the gym called us that and we it just sounded hilarious. Yeah. It was this uh, this Italian dude. He's like he's Italian, one of those like one of those New Yorker Italians, you know, kind of a dick. Actually, he is pretty much a dick. And he would just call us goombas. He would make like gay jokes about me and my buddy, like working the front desk, you know. And uh, I don't really give a shit about the gay jokes, but the, just the word goomba stuck out to me for some reason because it sounds so dumb. It sounds so stupid, but I love saying it. I'm, I'm switching it to Goombas, effective immediately, because Gamer, Gamer is funny, Gamer's got like a, to me it has an ironic kind of twang to it, of like, yeah, I'm a gamer, what, I just play Tetris on my phone, what do you want from me? I play PUBG, like, it just sounds dumb, because I feel like everybody and their mother is a gamer these days. So it doesn't really mean much when someone says they're a gamer, like, you know, it just sounds dumb to me, but I like Goomba more. I like Goomba. And that's, that's, there's no H on the end, it's just Goomba, not Ba, Goomba, okay? And that's also, what do you call it, unisex as well. Anyways. 
If I may、uh, regale you a bit, I've been studying some other podcasts for this one, and I came across one called the Pod F Tompcast. It was a pretty popular podcast about seven years ago, something like that. Twenty twelve. I was still in high school. It's basically a, a comedy podcast where it's just one dude. And I really I needed to take notes from that to have shit be interesting, you know? Because if it's just me, then like it, it's gonna be hard to keep up a good sort of tamper with things and a good liveliness, you know? So I, I took hints from that podcast, and that's why there's the nice little what do you call it? The piano music behind me. Oh, that's very sweet. the 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 guy Paul Tompkins. He's like a famous comedian. He has his own pianist that plays in the room next to him, and that goes off of him. And I am just way too poor to hire a p a pianist to improvise while I say bullshit. You know, I am way too poor for that. So this is just <laughs> fucking royalty free、uh, piano music. You know, like every fucking YouTuber uses. Royalty-free shit, and it all has that kind of like dead inside kind of sound. Like it's still, it's great, it's fantastic, but most、uh, copyright music or copyright-free music has that like it just sounds kind of dead, you know? Like it's that that sort of bland, upbeat tone, you know? And it's got like synths in it, and it's like all computerized sounding, and like people use it whenever they're, you know, it's like oh, I gave my friend a Lamborghini, and it's like oh wow, and there's all this like really. Happy bubbly music playing, but it just sounds like it's dead inside. You know, like it doesn't have substance to it. Ah, I just hate copyright-free music. It sucks that we have to use that all the time to have anything on YouTube. You know, and it's like the other option is to just have no music, and that's awful. It sounds really bad. It's it's really like awkward. To just have no music in your video, and people feel it. You know, they might not realize it, but they definitely feel it. So I hope you enjoy this copyright-free piano. I have no, I don't know what's playing right now, but I, I think it's good. This sounds peaceful, right? <laughs> that's the, that's the vibe I was going for. Also, I haven't even mentioned this. This is all just fucking updates here at the beginning.、Uh, check out the fucking、uh, the fucking video playing right there, my man. Check that out. That's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty sick. I got that made from a dude on Fiverr. It came out pretty fucking nice. It's just me underwater, looking good. I'm glad he got the the fat chin right. I'm really glad he got that, and the thick ass eyebrows too. I'm really glad. I didn't tell him to put some thick ass eyebrows, but I think that's just his art style. But it came out pretty good. I gave him a pretty good prompt and good references and shit. I'm glad he made my legs not have any knees. I I really appreciate that. I don't have any knees myself, so I appreciate the realism. I think it looks great. My hair looks good. It's fucking cool. I wish I could be this guy, but you know, he even did the beard good. I wish my beard connected like that. My beard does not connect like that with the mustache. It does not do that. So, I'm glad that he, you know, he hyped me up. <laughs> he made me look better than I do in real life. I appreciate that. But yeah, I just wanted something that would convey like a, a pretty relaxed tone. I feel like. All podcasts have to be relaxed because that's kind of that's kind of the vibe of a podcast. You know, it's just somebody talking and it's pretty chill, and you're just you know you're just kind of shooting the breeze. Like I've never seen a super like、uh, energetic podcast. I've never seen one that's like super upbeat and like you know it's very action oriented and it's like super dramatic. I've never. I've never seen that. There's probably ones out there, but I do not have the time or the energy to go surfing through podcasts and like trying them. I probably should though, because there's got to be good stuff out there. Let me introduce you to a bit. Here's a little bit that I made,、uh, a bitty bit. What's the deal with Seinfeld? Okay. Yes, I know all of you watch Seinfeld, but please stick with me. Seinfeld. It was one of the 
One of the first comedy sitcoms, I'd like to say, I'm gonna throw my dick out on the table and say it's one of the first comedy sitcoms, if not the first, but one of the first modern ones. Anyways, I just think Seinfeld is weird as hell. Is it not? Because what gets me about Seinfeld is that Jerry Seinfeld, you know, the creator, whatever, he wrote himself into the show, right? So it's essentially almost like a, a self-insert of himself into this super cool life, you know, of this comedian guy who has like good friends and they do a bunch of dumb bullshit together and they're having fun. And you know, that that's, that's a little bit weird on its own, but that's just kind of Hollywood. Like, you know, they had the Bernie Mac show and they've got that Gabriel Iglesias stuff on Netflix now. And it's like, yeah, comedians insert themselves into things, that's fine. What gets me is that, you know, in the show, Seinfeld is a single man, for most of it, I think, and he's dating, like, a different girl every episode, right? So, there's a lot of scenes in the show where it's just him, like, it always, the, the camera comes in on him making out with his girlfriend, and they're, like, going at it. Like, they're just, they're just locking lips, just fucking going to town on television in front of God and everybody, you know, Seinfeld's parents probably watch the show, so they see him just making out with some random girl, and it's always like a supermodel, you know, like, she's always really fine. And it just, yeah, like, if you think about it for more than 30 seconds, it feels weird. Because it's a, it's pretty much a different girl in every episode that Seinfeld is dating, you know? And it's just like, if you think about it, Jerry Seinfeld, wrote Jerry Seinfeld dating this girl and like he wrote that she would make out with him and like they would be talking about having sex with each other and like all this stuff and it's like he wrote that it wasn't like the it's not like he's actually dating the girl and she's actually interested in him he wrote it he made it so imagine Jerry Seinfeld like in the in the audition right and he's auditioning for like the next pretty girl to be his girlfriend on the show before he does a bit about like refrigerators or something and so he's like doing the audition and the girl comes in and she's like really cute she's looking good and Seinfeld's like no no I don't think you'll work we we need a brunette for this scene I want to make out with a brunette no See, do you have any friends? Do you have any, like, blonde friends that you could bring in? I'm thinking blonde for the next episode. Like, it just, it just feels weird, man. Because you know he definitely had a hand in picking those girls. Because he's like, hmm, what girl do I want to make out with today? Hmm, oh, wow. What girl do I want to see me picking my nose and have that be a whole episode? Ooh, wow, ooh, she's kind of cute. I don't know, maybe maybe we could make out together, you know? Like, it just feels really odd to pick the girl that you make out with on TV. So I want to talk about VTubers really quick. So VTubers, if you don't know, they're, uh, they're basically anime girls that stream on YouTube. I know, it's, it sounds like a dream come true. I wanted to make a video about VTubers and just like, you know, kind of make fun of them but not be mean about it. And I, I don't think I can anymore because I, I'm down the rabbit hole. I unironically watch VTubers now. I didn't know they existed until like a month or so ago and I was like prepping for the video. I was trying to find like good clips that were funny that I could react to and I'm just in it now. Like I just <laughs> I just watch VTubers now. My fucking YouTube homepage is full of VTubers. Just you know, it's like, oh, fucking uh, Gouda says something funny. Ooh, and it has like 50,000 views. And it's just like dumb little clips and I'm actually subscribed to the girls too. And like, I, ah, I hate to say it, man, but I'm, I'm fucking in it. I'm not a simp. Don't ever call me a simp. I swear to God. I definitely watch them more than is healthy. Well, maybe not that, but you know, I'm actually watching them pretty consistently. And ah, at first it was weird, but now I'm kind of amazed that I can I can watch anime girls play video games in 2020, almost 2021. And it's just, ah, it's crazy. Like, 
If you told me when I was 10 years old watching Naruto that I could potentially watch Sakura play Fortnite, like, that would have blown my mind. I would have been like, what the hell is Fortnite? And it's just crazy that, like, these, because th some of these girls have uh, millions of subscribers and they get, like, tons of views and all that jazz and, like, the super donations and whatever. And it's like, damn, you're a fucking anime girl. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. You have a persona. Someone spent like thousands of do dollars to make your little anime character and then it just copies your movements from your webcam. And I was like, oh my God, that is crazy. That's so crazy that that actually exists, that you can do that. Like if, if my regular channel doesn't work out, I might become a fucking anime girl. <laughs> All I need, dude, all I need is a voice changer. I need to play some like really basic games like Super Mario, you know, just pitch up my voice a bit. I can even speak English. There's English speaking ones now. And I don't like, I just have to pay someone to make the, the anime girl. I can pick like a dumb animal to imitate. Like I can be a cat or I don't know, a whale or something. And I can just be an anime girl. It's that easy. It's crazy, dude. It is absolutely insane that you can do that. What a what a crazy time we live in. And it's just normal. Like people, it's ah, it's insane. And I'm in it now. I actually like watch it and I'm like, oh wow, oh, she's playing Minecraft again. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Ah, it's it's insane. So I might still make a video on VTubers, but I I need to find a way <laughs> to make it funny. And, you know, so that'll come with time. I actually made... No, 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 I'll save that for the video. But I also want to make a video on a uh, hamburger helper. I just had this idea last night, and I think it's fucking hilarious. I have been eating a ton of hamburger helper lately. Like, I, I got 10 pounds of ground beef for Christmas, like one of those giant rolls. Um, I got it from my dad. Thank you so much. I've just been trying to figure out how to eat all of this ground beef. So I've been buying tons of Hamburger Helper and I like try all the flavors and everything. So I want to make a tier list of the best Hamburger Helper flavors. And I think that would be fucking hilarious. I think that would be super cool. So that'll be a great video coming out. Hamburger Helper is delicious, bro. It's pretty fucking good. Like it's pretty sick. If you if you don't eat hamburger helper, if you're if you're one of those college kids that just makes like grilled cheese and like microwave meals, dude, hamburger helper is easy as fuck, man. It's super easy. Okay, don't even worry about it. You just you just make the beef, you make the hamburger, and then you help it. That's it. Like you just put it together. I literally mix it up and it's like this giant pot and I take the pot off of the stove and I bring it to the couch and I just eat it like an animal. It just like, you know, I dump in the ground beef and I just go to town and whatever's left, I just put it away and eat it tomorrow. Like it's so easy and it tastes really good. You just cook it and it's fucking tasty, bro. And I'm like, damn, this is easy. Like this is what grown ups been doing. Dude, this is easy, bro. So yeah. You should get into Hamburger Helper. Please become an enthusiast. Get on the Hamburger Helper subreddit and talk to other Hamburger Helpers, you know? I'm a Hamburger Helper, proud member of the of the Helper Army of the HH boys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if Hamburger Helper has a subreddit. I hope to God they don't. Actually, no, I would like to see some good Hamburger Helper memes because there, there has to be a few out there. And I don't mean like Impact Font 2012 memes. I mean like, you know, a cursed image of the Hamburger Helper man and it's just like him with like a middle finger only instead of like the four fingers that he has usually. See, that would be a good meme. That would be good. You know, stuff, stuff like that. I think that would be fun. I had another hamburger helper bit. What was it? I write all my bits down on my computer, so give me a second. Yeah, okay, so hamburger helper has a bunch of great ingredients, right? But what are they missing? What is hamburger helper missing? This titan of industry. What, what could they possibly do 
to further their product? What is the one place that they're not in? Cereal. Okay, cereal. Hamburger Helper cereal. I know, right? Did I just blow your mind? Say that I blew your mind. I know I did. Hamburger Helper cereal. Can you imagine? You just, you know, you pour the Hamburger Helper flakes into the bowl. You cook some ground beef. <laughs> you, you just pour it in. And you just, you know, you kind of mix it up. Eat it right out of the pot. Pour in some milk. Easy peasy, bro. Sick. They gotta have like, you know, chocolatey hamburger helper cereal. <laughs> and you have to mix in like the, the chocolate with the ground beef. They have frosted hamburger helper cereal. And it has like the little, the pasta in it. Ah, oh, man, that sounds great. That sounds delicious. Beautiful. Hamburger Helper Cereal. If you know anybody who works at Hamburger Helper or you work at Hamburger Helper, first off, let me say I'm sorry. And also second, you should push this up the line. You should talk to your boss at Hamburger Helper and tell them, hey, we need to start selling cereal. Okay, there's a hole in the market for savory cereal. You know, it's just milk, ground beef, and then some like, you know, some flakes, some like corn flakes or whatever. That's all you need. Just put the Hamburger Helper logo on it, bro. And it'll, it'll go far, I promise you. Yeah, I think that would be a great idea. I want to make the, I'll probably save it for the video, but I want to make, hi, I want to make the, the box art for that and just have like the milk be pouring into the ground beef, you know, and it's like supposed to look good, but it really looks disgusting. I want to make that. That's a good meme. That is a fantastic meme. All right, that about does it for this episode of Sriracha Cast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed the voice cracks. Um, I didn't really enjoy those very much, but I hope you did. Um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye. Goombye.